Welcome, my name is the Kofodama here, bringing you the 100% walkthrough of Heretic on the Black Plague, but this is the difficulty with Elven Wand start for every map. In the last video, we took care of E5M5 Hydrator. Now we move on to E5M6 Colony for Episode 5, The Stagnant Domain. Okay, grab the crossbow, an arrow, open up the door, we're going back to our wand. Press the switch, and then shoot that wall behind the nitro golem. It, you can see disciples there. We won't deal with them yet. Right. We're gonna pass through them. That's what we need to deal with. Okay, all the shenanigans right here. They're all stuck over here. This is a good spot to be stuck. There we go. That fire gargoyle is dead. Got one more over here. And there you have it. Now, we let these guys in fight. Too much? Well, uh... Yeah, there is too much. So just start firing a couple of arrows. Okay, one more disciple. Who knows, maybe he'll die. He might get hit and he'll enter and fight, but he did not. So we're gonna have to push him down. But he was pretty weak from in fight. See if he'll want to do some in fighting. Nope, he does not want to do in fighting. There we go. Now they're dead. Now we can proceed to killing these nitro golems. And kill these nine chocolates on the side. One more arrow. He survived. Not anymore. There we go. Shot. Shot up the pods. And we took out the undead warrior that was in there. Over there's a fake wall, by the way. There's yet another another fake wall, by the way. Maybe you can fire a couple of shots. There we go. Now that undead warrior has been taken care of. Let's take care of him. Awesome. Now we can go to the giraffe. First, let's take out that... Gargoyle, he was a strangler right there. And that takes care of those undead warriors. Alright, so let's switch to the crossbow again. And take... to finish him off. Dead. We can press the switch now. Have an arrow here, we give it invincibility, and then this wall is going to lower after pressing that switch. You can see lots of golems, so we're rushing to the stairs and we're going to blow them all up if we can. There we go, we took 
out that. Took out that nitro golem. Now we can make our way down. But we can do this first. Yeah. There is a chaos device in this area. Is a bag of gold. We'll, we'll get the. We'll get those items. Now and some room to drop down. There we go. That's more better. Better. That's too redundant anyway. That's more like it. And this one's just stuck here. But if you step over here where the wall lowered, you can go over here. Kill them, but here's an arrow. We're trying to pick up the bag holding over here. There we go. There's the switch. There's the yellow key. So now, there we go. We got the yellow key. Then you can open up this wall and get out of the room. That shot. And there we go. That takes care of them. Oh, this one's alive. There we go. Let's go ahead and grab Crystal Geode. And when you clear that area up, then you can go back over here where you killed the undead warrior you will find golem there another path that opened up there's a shield but it's probably something we should have grabbed before beforehand and, and that there would have been One, we need to go up here, get the chaos device, we don't have the chaos device. Fireballs won't hit us. There we go. Now here's a red banner. You can open this up. That's exactly what we'll do. And there we go. There's another area. Stairways like this. 
let's go ahead and grab another rune and we'll go back to the crossbow. Okay, good, we got him. Over here's a torch, some crystal vials, now we go up these stairs and head out. This is the next door we go through. Another yellow door. With a nitro gone. And we gotta open up this this wall. There's a uh, even more columns we gotta take care of. Grab this arrow. I'm looking gauntlets. open up. And now here's a quiver of ethereal arrows. We needed that. We're done here. For now. We'll go back to that area pretty soon. But anyway, after you press that switch where we got in that area, where we also got the gauntlets, wall opens up with an alcove and there's a switch to press it. Now we have some stairs we can go on. Maybe we can go ahead and use the health staff here. Oh now watch out for crushers in this room. There's plenty of crushers to watch out for. Some switches that do nothing, but well, this one does nothing. This one also nothing. But press this switch and got a lift over here. But you also got disciples in here. And we can take them out. There we go. Now here's the Iron Witch. We will take him out. He's the Dragon Pot. Alright. Now that the tornado is gone, let's go ahead and press the switch again. Now we will raise. Some secret, but over here. Switch. The time bombs lowers. And we use the health stop to clear them all out. And there we go. We're dealt with, and we have we got the time bombs. And here's a lift. 
this cargo. We have the auto map now. Another quartz flask. So now we want to go back up. And watch out in this section. Anyway, this is where the nitro bones were. But you don't want to be stuck in here. More disciples to deal with. Let's heal up. So, over there was two disciples. Now, gotta repeat, repeat the process. So remember which telephone you need to take. Also, more telephone, we forgot that. Now here's another teleport to go to. The slept teleporter and same thing as before. There's the switch. Oh and look, there's also the fire piece. So we're definitely gonna be making great use of it. soon and it's gonna be a while till we finish the level so at the very least we'll be able to use it plenty anyway don't go there you'll just fall down this is where we were when we came to open up the red door and make our way to the health staff I'm gonna press this switch over here and then drop down and uh, watch out. More disciples again. All right, there we go. That's it for them. Now. Now we have the green key. This time, we can open up one of the green doors. And of course, deal with all these monsters. There's a place to use the health staff. the hell staff. A lot of monsters here. Okay, we got it. Use another quartz flask. So it's to the crossbow here. Let's snipe these golems I'm in the distance. Golem's dealt with. Now watch out for these tight areas. Yeah. Both of these switches, they take you up. I don't know why there's two of them. Makes no sense to me, honestly. And there could be some, at least now there's, we could cause some infight. There's a nitro golem there, by the way. We're pressing that I don't think I don't even think we managed to press that switch. Well, we do have a mystic grin now, at least. And it looks like the disciples, I think they took out the undead warriors, so we didn't even have to lay a finger on it.
Probably I'm not gonna end up using the fire mace. Okay. I don't even we gotta go back up because I'm certain we did not press the switch, so we need to press that switch. Press it, and now there's stairs we can take. Also, gonna hit the dragon claw. Watch out, trap. And do it before. There's an iron glitch right there, but we want to do it before he wakes up. But it didn't seem to do much, so. I forgot we had a morph, but we probably could have used it. Morph really helps out a lot. I'll take the- oh no, he's gonna take the lead. And he finished. Now, there's a bag of holding, another morph of them, switch we can press. Now we have the Phoenix Rod. And the Wings of Wrath. Let's get some arrows. a disciple. There we go. We can use this mystic urn now, and we're also gonna switch to the to the mace sphere because we have an opportunity to use it. We're also gonna use the ring of invincibility and atomic power. Oh, and wings, wings of wrath too. Let's pick that up first. We need to get the. We need to get these uh, quartz flasks. We can go up. Got the dome of power. This was a trap, by the way. Now we can. Look at that. Another time to have fun. It's just like this. See. Didn't take very long. It was really easy. Let's see. We have five more items and uh, a few more kills too. Let's see what's down here. I mean, who else could possibly be in this area? What else can be done here? That's it. No item here. And how about here? No. Nope. All that's left is the kills. What would be the remaining monsters? Well. When you are done, however, I'm forgetting something. When you're ready to exit, actually, and the secret doesn't show up until probably after getting the key key for that matter. But more of the area opens up. Actually, I don't think we went here yet. We did not. There's another more phone. We got three more phones. We didn't really use it now, did we? No, hardly. So, yeah, now we can take care of the secrets. Kills, there's two, two monsters left. So, here's the trigger for these secrets. Let's go in the exit. And then... Let's just have fun, but here's another ring of invincibility. But we're not going to use it. That's it's only helpful if, since it'll carry over. Let's 
Is it again? There we go. Get this another mystic urn. And that's everything. So we get to exit. So there you have it. As you can see, yeah, that was a lot of kills right there. 227. I didn't say much about it, but yeah. There's Colonnade. This map has the most amount of monsters you can deal with in the entire game. And then, of course, so of the top three, this takes first place. Second place goes to Mausoleum. And, uh, of course, third place is for Hydrator. Yeah, this, but this is the one with the most monsters in the map, and it is really hectic. So, and honestly, when it comes to maps with a lot of monsters, this has a lot of monsters, but that does not make this the hardest map in the game. Not by one bit. Actually, it, it is challenging, but, uh, still, uh, Mausoleum is much harder out of the three maps with having over a 200 kill count. Mausoleum's still much harder than this one. Even, even Colonnade. So, in fact, this is the easiest map with that has more than 200 kills, even though it has, it takes the number one spot of having, going up to 227. I mean, there's many ways to go about this map. And, uh, all I can say is, uh, first, uh, what I did was I just got all the monsters at the beginning to fight and went back to the beginning to wait it off. That's what I recommend at the beginning. And then from there, the room with the disciples is pretty tricky. I mean, step out and then take deal with the disciples and then the iron witch. And then you've got the pillars, of course. Lower those are traps. And then the room, and then the outdoor area with the blue key. Just stick to the health staff, you're fine. Move around a bit. That's about it. And then the disciples, of course, taking care of the undead warriors with the phoenix rod. And now that I think of it, we really didn't use the phoenix rod a whole lot. Probably not even once. Yeah, I know. Because we did have the fire mace, wanted to use it because it's fun. Sometimes it doesn't show up at all. Anyway, we have one more map to take care of before we go to the boss map in E5M8. So, in the next video, we are going to take care of E5M7, which is Fetid Mance. This is Slickfold here, and I'll catch you guys later.